hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair accus is in my description box y'all so let's get to it um, I put this video up because one of my subscribers, she, uh, I think Ty Burius, I think, um, I hope I said your name right, put up a um, comment and I want to talk about it, okay y'all, I want to talk about it because it was too much to type in the um, comment section to respond to this comment. Um, it says, Miss Lowe, I am a subscriber. Thank you so much for subscribing, okay? I love your channel and your content, but in regards to Charleston White, I have a question. Are we as black community, given this black man, given this man, I'm sorry, a blank check to now say F somebody's kids and how he would take them out, take out somebody's kids? Is that okay? I mean, right or wrong? Who wouldn't defend their kids, their child? It's in our DNA to defend our child. So it's hard for me to listen to him say F someone's kids or somebody's child without cringing and second guessing why we even give this man the time of day when at the end of the day, it's for YouTube views. I would just like your opinion on that. Do we just not care anymore as a people? Okay, so this is what she's asking me. So I want to start off by saying this. Um, first off, okay, um, Charleston White, I'm the first person to tell you, I do not agree with everything that he does. I do not at all encourage the things that he does. But when it came down to Boosie and T.I. and their mess, that's when I drew the line, okay, on this situation. Now, um, my understanding, okay, was he um, was disrespected first by um, T.I.'s son and um, Boosie's son, okay? Um, I'm trying to explain this in a way that, you know, people don't get offended by this. But if anybody's child, and they're of age, okay? Because we know that a lot of, you know, people being taken out right now in this day and age is, is from, you know, people the same age as Boosie and Boosie son and um, T.I. son, okay? Now, if it was me and, you know, um, I made a comment about something, and some grown kids started saying a lot of stuff to me, like what they'll do to me and they'll beat my this and they'll beat my, when they see me, they're going to jump me and all of this. I feel the same way. If somebody's child that's of age, okay, grown enough to be riding around here driving and, you know, of age to be on YouTube and all this other stuff threatens me then I have a right to defend myself. So I understand where Charleston White came from when he said, um, you know, he would take T.I.'s son out if he jumped him. So that is where, you know, my view of this whole thing came from, of him defending himself against these, you know, of age children of rappers, okay? Now, if you take it back a notch, and you think about um, T.I. for once, okay? T.I. friend ju was just taken out in a hell of, you know, bullets, y'all. And it was because he was banning somebody else's business. His friend would still be here probably today if T.I. would have manned his own business. And I just feel like if um, Charleston White says something about T.I. or Boosie or whatever, whatever, then it should have been 
Tia and Boosie respond, not, you know, the kids coming at him talking about he's old, they're going to beat his tail when they see him, this and that and that and this. You have to draw the line somewhere. And it's not just about um, them defending their kids. Tia and Boosie, um, they've been around a lot of death. And this is partially the reason why I said what I said, okay? Um, I have been following cases and... I feel like other parents feel the same way that was sitting at a table with Boosie and, you know, T.I. and, you know, Jay Prince now. I feel like other parents feel the same way that their their kids were sitting at a table with these these three guys or four guys and somebody take their kid's life after he leave that table with these guys. So, you know, you can say this vice versa as to other people. Okay, that then lost their kids that has been in the facility or around something to do with in connections with T.I. and Boosie. So this works both ways. Okay, no disrespect. You know, I don't like the way Charleston White came with it, but I understand where he was coming from. Okay, so no, it's not okay to, to threaten other people's kids. But when your kids is so out of line right now to the point where they're threatening, not just Charleston White, you know, I don't know if you are keeping up with the stories that's going on on YouTube, but um, T.I.'s son went into a restaurant and, you know, start threatening the workers and the employees and everybody in there. And, you know, certain people in there saying that, you know, they can buy this place. They own this place. You know, he's very arrogant. So are you to say that just because he's younger, but he's still of age, he can go into restaurants and cuss people out and threaten them and tell them he'll be back with his toy and, and all this stuff? Is it okay for him to threaten older people? And if he did, you know, and this is on a recording. If you look it up on YouTube, you'll find it. Do you think it's okay for him to threaten adults? If you don't feel like adults should threaten him back, so this goes both ways. And, you know, I appreciate you being a subscriber. And I also appreciate how you uh, worded everything. And it was very respectful. And you disagree with, you know, what I was agreeing with. I just don't feel like, you know, sometimes the apple just don't fall far from the tree. And I do believe that the reason why these kids are acting the way they're acting is because their parents then got away with so much stuff. And on the other hand, with T.I., T.I., you know, um, he works with the law, you know, when he wants to help tell on other people. But at the same time, he's breaking the law. And why is this, you know, double standard that he gets away with things just because he tell on others? Okay. Why is it okay for Boosie to um, get away with all of these setups that he's, you know, involved in? And he keeps getting away with it over and over again. You know, if they're coming down with Rico's on all of these other artists, why aren't they coming down with Rico's on other artists like Boosie? You know, I don't even think T.I. is worse than Boosie, but he is in a certain way to people that be around him. You know, because I, if I had of known that, you know, T.I., just say if, you know, we came into the same circle and, you know, it came to a moment that we were supposed to be friends or something like that. I would back away from being friends with T.I. because he got his own friend taken out because of his mouth. And it's, it's the same thing his son is doing right now. So sometimes we as a people, we got to stand up against stuff like that. Okay. Boosie, on the other hand, you know, he do things a little bit different than T.I. T.I. do stuff on a slick way. He like to be in the cut and act like his hands is clean, but his hands is dirty. And Boosie, on the other hand, he don't mind let people let him see his hands dirty. Okay? And then he try to come out now and try to act like they're clean by going to the prisons, taking his son there and all of that to see, oh, you don't want to be in prison. But it's okay for you after Duke the Jeweler just get taken out, after he invited him to Houston and, and he gets taken out, he has his son on, you know, videos taunting the death of Duke the Jeweler. So if you can taunt, you know, people that has passed away and everybody's think, you know, in their mind, okay, in their gut believe that Boosie has something to do with this, 
then yeah, if if your son threatens an adult, they have a right to threaten him back and say what they'll do to him because that's what, what it is. He's taunting people's deaths, okay? Their kids are going into, you know, everyday people's jobs. That's, done, that's not millionaires. That's not balling out of control. And they're disrespecting adults. So if they can threaten an adult, yes, I do believe that it's fair game for an adult to threaten his ass back, okay? So um, that's my answer to your question, okay? Hope you stick around. But if you don't, I understand, all right? But I just wanted to, um, you know, say something back to you because we are all going to have disagreements with certain things, but it's the way that we, we, um, we talk to each other, you know? It's the way that we handle things together because if we don't, as a people, um, try to figure out how do we stop the things that's going on right now, then nothing is going to change. It's just going to continue to get worse. You know, Charleston White got to the point and said that I could have gotten your son locked up, but I'm not going to do it. And he was like, I'm just trying to teach him something. He did say something in that manner. OK, but these, you know, they kept pushing. They kept pushing and talking about what they'll do to him and this and that and that and this. And this is why he said he'll Trayvon Martin him. And I think that was the worst tasteful thing to come back at somebody and say if you want to say i'm gonna defend myself if your child come at me i'm gonna take care of my business you know it's a difference in saying something like that it, it, as to saying if he come do this to me i'm gonna trayvon martin him you know you trayvon martin had a mother and a father too okay and they're still hurting from what happened to him so it's a way that you say things and a way to, that you do things but do I agree with the way he say things all the time? No, I don't agree with everything that he does. But if somebody has threatened him, even if it is somebody's child, he has a right to defend himself. Okay? And it's not fair to just go at people's kids for no reason. No. But if that child comes for you, then you have no choice. You really don't. You have no choice. So I hope that this answers your question okay because one of uh my other subscribers brought this message to my attention miss m and thank you so much for letting me know because i hadn't even got to this comment yet so she sent it to me and you know she was letting me know that somebody was asking me a question and i just thought that i would get on here and just answer your question okay so anyway um please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching peace